Hi there, this is Alnaz and today I want to do a sequence of core work plus the strengthening poses for the shoulders and arms and hands. So uh, if you want to do a little bit of workout today, just get on your mat and we're going to do this together. And also I wanted to appreciate for subscribing and supporting me uh, as I will continue creating these free content uh, for you guys on YouTube. So let's get on your mat and come to your tabletop. From your tabletop, starting with, uh, you know, just to warm up a little bit, start with your cat cow. So opening your heart forward, pull the lower belly in. And with your exhale, you're rounding your back. And again, start with your cat cow. Inhale and exhale. And again, inhale, you're ar arching your back. Exhale, you're rounding your back. Do this with your own pace for two to three rounds. And eventually you come to the stillness and just extend your right leg to the back of the room. Keep your toes on the floor. Just push the heel to the back of the room. And now switch. Breathe in and breathe out. And then from here, we're going to activate the core, the first part. So curl your toes under and just lift the knees five or six inches above the ground or maybe even a little bit higher. So if this is already too much, just try to stay here maybe for a couple of breaths. If you think that this is easy for you, then I would, um, I mean, I want you to do a couple of cat cows while you're here. Basically, you're trying to open your heart, inhale, and then start to round your back. Exhale. Again, inhale, open your heart. Exhale, start to round your back. Inhale again, open your heart, and exhale, round your back. And again, last time, inhale, and exhale, rounding your back. And then st straighten your legs, going to your first down dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So you're pushing the upper thighs to the back of the room, pressing your hands firmly to the floor and just lengthen the upper body, breathe in and breathe out. Let's do a couple of dynamic movements. So you're pushing yourself to the front. This is like top of a push up, the plank position. Exhale, push back to your down dog. Inhale again. And exhale, push back. And again, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, push back. And then eventually you just come to the plank position. Put your knees down and then come all the way down to your bellies on your mat. From your bellies, let's maybe grab a block that would, I mean, or any object similar to this, maybe a book or a block. And then extend your, cell, uh, your arms to the front. So we're going to start with a couple of uh, back bends. So we're doing the classic Shalabhasana. Try to lift your arms with your block, lift your chest and lift your legs. Breathe in and breathe out. It doesn't matter how much like you lift yourself, but just try. Lower yourself down. Let's do this again. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your chest, and lift your legs. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower yourself down. This time, bend your elbows and bring your block behind your head. And again, lift your um, elbows and lift your chest and lift your legs. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower yourself down. Put your block on the side. Let's place your hands next to your rib cage. Push back to your tabletop. And from your tabletop, curl your toes under and push back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in and breathe out. So you are in your down dog. And then let's walk your hands toward your feet. Coming to your Uttanasana. Release the head and the neck. So your feet are parallel to each other and just release the head and the neck. Maybe clasp your elbows if you want. 
you're pushing the upper thighs to the back of the room as you're straightening the legs if possible and again stay here let the head hang breathe in and breathe out this is called Uttanasana this is also a great stretch for your hamstrings and when you're ready release your hands toward the floor keep your fingertips on the floor start doing a couple of squat together so lower your hips inhale and then exhale straighten then again inhale lower your hips exhale straighten inhale lower your hips exhale straighten and again inhale and exhale and maybe one more time inhale lower your hips and exhale coming back to your Uttanasana and then from your Uttanasana let's place your hands at your waist bend your knees a little bit and come all the way toward your standing position so let's get at the top of your mat so coming to Tadasana or mountain pose from your mountain pose keep your feet parallel to each other when you're ready let's sit back as if you want to sit on a chair bend your knees shift your weight to your heels then reach both arms up and above pull the lower belly in inner thighs are spinning toward the floor breathe in and breathe out you're firming the upper arms in inhale here this is chair pose or utkatasana exhale forward forward fold coming to your uttanasana inhale lift your chest halfway lengthen the spine exhale back to your uttanasana plant your hands on the floor and step back one at, one foot at a time back to your plank position and then from your plank maybe shift a little bit forward if you want to put the knees down go ahead otherwise come all the way down to your bellies on your mat Adjust the location of your uh, hands next to your rib cage. Your elbows should be hugging your torso. Press to your hands and start to straighten your arms all the way coming to your upward facing dog. Open your heart forward. Your hips and your kneecaps are getting off the floor. Inhale here. With your exhale, curl your toes and push back to your downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Now I'm going to add a little bit of core to this work. So come to the tabletop, start to lift your right leg to the right side. So you're keeping your knees bent. However, start to just lift it to the right. Inhale, exhale, lower. And again, inhale. So this is a great work for your glutes and also the thigh muscles, plus the abductors and the adductors muscles. So it might, I mean, you don't need to do, um, I mean, so many of it, but even few of these uh, will help and will change even the shape of your body. So again, inhale, going up, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it, and exhale, lower. Now let's switch. Again, inhale the same thing to the left side, exhale. And again, inhale, exhale inhale and exhale let's do this again inhale and exhale last time inhale and exhale and then from here curl your toes under and one more time push back to your downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana breathe in and breathe out now we're going to do another core work. Lift your right leg up, bend your knee, shift forward and hug the knee into your chest. So from here, just lower the knee closer to the floor, hover it and bring it back up. Lower the knee and then hug it into your chest. One more time, lower, hug it into your chest and then step between your hands. You're going to pin your back heel down, rising up to your warrior one. Preferably trying to keep your hips square to the front. Bend your knee. Your knee should be above your front heel. 
and reaching both arms up and above. Pull the lower belly in, firm the upper arms in. Breathe in and breathe out. Maybe push the left thigh to the back of the room. Virabhadrasana 1, which is the Sanskrit name for Warrior 1. Inhale here. With your exhale, lower your hands down. Push back to your plank position. And then from, from your plank, we're going to do Chaturanga Abduct. So just come halfway down, not all the way, halfway. Point your toes, press to your hands. Open your heart forward. Inhale. With your exhale, curl your toes and push back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Ashvanasana. Now when you're ready, lift your left leg to the hip height or higher. Bend your knee, shift forward and hug the knee into your chest. Again, lower to your left knee, bring it back to your chest. Just hover above the ground and bring it back. One more time, hover and bring it back and step between your hands. Again, you're going to pin your back heel down. Push to the front leg, rise up, coming to your Virabhadrasana 1, preferably squaring your hip to the front. Give a little bit of distance between your left foot and your right foot. Reaching both arms up, firm the upper arms in, pull the lower belly in, breathe in and breathe out. Now take an inhale. With your exhale, lower your hand down and push back to your plank and pushing back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now just come for a moment to your seated position and I want you to grab a block. If you have a block or if you don't have a block, maybe stack of books or something which is similar to this size. Any object that basically you can put your index fingers to the side, to the short side of your block and the thumb to the, you know, the long side underneath. And you're putting your hands like this. This is the, we, we want to go to dolphin pose, but instead of like interlacing our hands here, we, we want to uh, place our hands around the block. So place your hands here, coming to your tabletop, and then from here put your forearms down. Putting your forearms down, make sure that your shoulders are above your elbows. So your elbows are not wider. They're exactly parallel to each other. You're pressing your forearms to the floor firmly. Breathe in and breathe out. And then when you're ready, from here we're going to curl our toes under and start to push the upper thighs to the back of the room, going to a some sort of a down dog but with a basically downward facing dog but with the forearms on the floor then start to walk your feet in as much as you can if you see that you're rounding yourself too much then this is your limit stay there then from here onward you're pressing firmly to your arms to your forearms to keep your head and the neck away from the floor and basically letting all of these muscles the obelisk muscles the shoulders, the arms, the upper arms, forearms, all of them are working firmly. So stay here, breathe in and breathe out. Again, you don't need to stay here long, again, as much as you can or whenever you feel tired, you might want to even put your knees down and just rest in your child pose for a moment. Take a break because, you know, muscles actually build up gradually. So even don't expect too much from yourself uh, for in your I mean your first practice if you're doing this and also I should have mentioned this at the beginning of this video that definitely these practices are kind of a level two in terms of like or kind of more toward the intermediate level so don't you know get disappointed and don't you know try to like you know uh, do it all so at once just take your time and build up gradually so again now I want to show you another version of this um, dolphin pose, which is definitely a great strength builder. And especially it's a preparatory pose for so many other poses. Come on, come to your forearms. And again, one more time, you're going to curl your toes under, push back to your dolphin, walk your feet forward, 
stay in your dolphin. Now imagine that this is a pond of water, this block. So you're going to just come forward and touch it with your nose and then push back. And again, coming forward, touch it with your nose and then push back. And again, just coming forward and pushing back. And let's do this like again, a few more times, touch it and then push back. So your shoulders are firmly working here and to, you know, to keep you away from the ground. Last one, pushing back. And then again, just put your knees down, rest in your child pose, Balasana. Breathe in and breathe out. And, you know, just stay here for a couple of deep breaths. And whenever you're ready, gently come to the seated position. Maybe just, you know, at, toward the end of the session, it's a good idea to kind of open the hip. Either you can actually do a Baddha Konasana, which is bringing the soles of the feet together, keeping your torso long, and just giving a little bit of room for your inner thighs to open up. Stay here, breathe in and breathe out. If you want, you can walk your hands a little bit forward and maybe leaning forward to kind of like deepening the stretch for your inner thighs. So again, dolphin pose, that was the kind of a peak pose of this session was um, really for the purpose of building up the muscles around the shoulders. And it's a preparatory pose for another pose in yoga, which we call it Pincha Mayurasana. And Pincha is some sort of an inversion. It's like a handstand, but with the forearms on the floor. So we, with doing these uh, practices, we kind of build up to get into Pincha. And we always say practice, not perfect. Like we don't want to basically in you know again set expectations too high from ourselves but every time that we are practicing we are just moving one step ahead and i hope that this will become useful for you uh, i just wanted to announce that uh, i have uh, zoom classes online and people are getting i mean connected through um, zoom from anywhere in the world and if you're interested to practice with me yoga i have different uh, practices for beginners and also more toward the advanced level just contact me or you know you can either find me through social media or go to www.elnazyoga360.com and you know just sign up or send a request to me um, other than that just feel free to use my youtube and uh, you know if you want to share it with other friends and do the practice here for free you're welcome as well Thanks for joining me. Namaste.